Alright vampires, so secondary focus tutorial regarding AI and our Turnitin checking system through Manage Back. So this video will cover how we at AISB deal with potential AI issues and student work. So academic honesty and academic malpractice are two terms we use quite a bit in the secondary. Our learning management system, Manage Back, uh, fully integrates Turnitin. Uh, it's plagiarism checker and it's artificial intelligence checker. All summative work in the secondary needs to be submitted to manage back and subsequently will be processed through the algorithm and turn it in. In this video, we will establish settings in manage back to allow for plagiarism and AI checking report. We'll find out where you as a teacher can locate the results. And we'll also identify best practices with students provide agency for self-regulation and adhering to academic honesty. All right, so once you're in ManageBack, and don't forget it's vampires.manageback.com. If you go to manageback.com, you might get a little confused. So you can go to any one of your classes. I'm going to click on this grade 10. You can now click on Task and Units. And now, far right, just hit add a task. Now, as you scroll down through this, you will see Turnitin Feedback Studio. Every time I tick on this, it automatically sets up the Matchback coursework submission, which means students are required to submit a PDF, which they've downloaded from whatever Google Doc they're working and that will automatically run through the Feedback Studio. Now, once your students have uploaded the PDFs, which they downloaded from Google Drive into the Task Manage Back, you can open that task and you can scroll down. And I created this task solely for the purposes of this. So there's only one student which has two files. The first file is a 100% generated chat GTP script, of which I took the key components of an original work from the same student and asked the robot to make uh, a script based on the prompts. The second PDF is the child's original work from two years ago while predating chat GPT. Now to get to the feedback studio, you can click on any one of these percentiles in the right column or you can simply click on this button at the top that says Feedback Studio. Now this takes you to an integrated page. We want to look at the zero percentile, so I can double click on this one again, and that'll open up the proper Feedback Studio. Now this 100% JTP created script came back with an AI percentage of 24. We still don't know uh, completely what these percentiles mean, but from our research, 15% anywhere around there and above is well warranted for a further conversation with your students. If we click on this specific percentile, it'll open up the script and it will show us with a highlighted blue lines, the portions that it feels were generated by a chat bot. Now, if we go back to understand the 85% is the plagiarism or similarity report. We cover similarity reports in a different tutorial. This was so high simply because it was comparing the student's original work from two years ago. Now, if we were to click on this, the AI in this is zero, which is fully accurate because this was written well uh, pre chat GPT. All right, strategies that help avoid AI issues. So give a writing sample at the beginning of a unit. It'll give you some idea about what they know about a subject, but it also gives you a baseline standard for the writing. And if that writing improves drastically over the course of the unit, maybe they got some external help. So in lieu of spending multiple classes on writing an actual essay, give them the essay writing skills and give them a culminating in-class essay, which would be handwritten. There's a lovely tutorial below which will show you how to consolidate that digital handwritten documents. Google Classroom. Always make sure you're providing students with a working template. Make each student a copy. 
Google Docs. Check the version history and check for content dumping. This way you can see what they write and when they write, and if a bunch of stuff comes in at once, it came from someplace else, and there's a good chance a robot wrote that. So as always, um, if you need any specific help with anything mentioned in this tutorial, we're here to help, and we appreciate your time there, vampires.